Hello my viewers. I'd like to give a great big shout out to Air Cool Heating and Air Conditioning in Bryan, Texas. Here's to you. And now, on with the show. Today's show is going to be about king valves. This is a king valve right here. And so is this one. Okay, this one's just a little bit smaller. They both do the same job. But this one right here is what is used on the suction side. And this one is what's used on the discharge side. Here I have a Carlisle 06D semi-hermetic compressor that's in a split system. This is in the uh, condensing unit right now. And this unit has king valves. Uh, one of them is right here at the suction side and the other one at the discharge side. Alright, let's take a look at this one on the suction side and I'll remove this cap that protects the valve stem and everything on here uh, from crud getting in it or maybe in some cases a little bit of refrigerant leaking through the packing that kind of thing and right here uh, we can pump the system down but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the uh, three different positions that are typical on a king valve such as this this is called the back seat position where the valve stem is all the way out. And now I'm going to show you the next position which is just a position where it allows some of the gas to come through this port here like if there were a Schrader valve if there were a Schrader fitting right here you'd be able to put your manifold gauges on here and, and you'd be able to uh, see what your pressures are and uh, add gas or, or recover gas, whatever you need to do. Now, if you wanted to pump the system down, we'll say, you could go ahead and front seat this all the way down, which I'll do right now, okay, to where, see the stem is actually going in. It takes a little while to get it all the way down, by the way. There we go. Just kind of snug it, and there you are. You see? Now the stem is all the way down, and it's, called, it's this front seating. Now this valve is front seated right to here, and it's not allowing any of the gas to pass from this point uh, and into the compressor or out of the compressor however you see so this is what this does is is it isolates the compressor from the rest of the system we can all right now let me go ahead and re uh, back seat this okay Fast motion here. Takes a while sometimes, and just have to be a little patient. So, just takes a little twist in here to get all the get this stem back to the uh, back seated position. All right, I have a couple of king valves right here. This one is a smaller one. Uh, the difference is, of course, the this one does have a Schrader valve connected to it right here, as does this one, this larger one. Okay. Um, now, let's see exactly what happens inside of one of these king valves when it's being turned now. Let's see, I just take the cap off of this. 
and put my service wrench on this um, king valve stem here so we can turn this valve. Right now this king valve is in the back seated position. Okay, and so to put this in the front seat position, remember we turn this king valve as uh, so we try to close this valve here all the way. And I'll do that right now. As you can see, inside that you see the 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 valve is closing, or actually called it's called front seating. Okay. Um, as I turn it, lighting is difficult. Okay, now we're almost completely front seated right now. I hope you can see what it's doing. As you see it's sealing the, it would be sealing the flow of refrigerant. Okay, uh, that would be normally entering through here. This is a suction line and would and would be going into the compressor okay which would, this is this would be connected right here to the compressor so now this would isolate the uh, compressor from the rest of the system now remember right here is the Schrader port where you could put manifold gauges so that you could uh, uh, test to see how much pressure you have or uh, add more refrigerant or cover the refrigerant whatever you need to do now to um, now there is another position I, that would be called the midpoint position or mid position to get to the mid position we'll go ahead and reopen this valve see now it's starting to open again um, now right at this point right here this would allow the refrigerant to start to flow through the suction side and come right out here uh, into the compressor and also it would allow refrigerant to flow freely through this Schrader port so now we'll go ahead and um, open this even further which will be actually back seating let me see if I can just turn this by hand at this point I probably can okay. alright so now we're back seated again by back seating this refrigerant will not be able to be released through this Schrader port but of course it would be able to travel from the suction side into the compressor you see my finger in there so you see the, the refrigerant would easily be able to to flow through there now